Well, good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're having fun with your solar projects. So the Serbo display can be a really powerful tool to be able to quickly view what's going on in your environment. You can view this information from your mobile phone. You can view this information from the VRM. You can view it from any network connected tablet or device in your home. Or you can also view it on the Serbo display. Now, looking at the display itself, it gives you, you know, a good bit of information. It gives you the basics of what's going on, but I think it could be better. So that's what we're going to do today. We're actually going to install a modification to the Serbo itself, which is going to give us so much more information right at our fingertips. So let's get started. So we're going to be installing the GUI mods modification to our servo today. And I want to thank Kevin Windrum and the few developers that have worked on the GUI mods and the setup helper modifications to the Venus OS, which give us the ability to actually add these different modifications to our servo. So let's dive on into what needs to be taken care of in order to give our servo display a little bit more power and a little bit more information. So in order to install the GUI modifications to the servo display, you need to insert a USB drive into your computer and then format it, which is gonna erase everything off of it. Format, quick format, start, okay. So we've got our format complete. And then you'll wanna go to the GUI mods repository on GitHub. And I'll have a link to this down in the description below. But down at the very bottom, it talks about installation. And it says the, the easiest way to install this is to get the setup helper install. And you're gonna do what's called a blind installation on your servo. So here we are, we're on the setup helper page. We're gonna scroll oh, about a quarter of the way it looks like. So we can see right here, blind install. By far the easiest way, download the file, copy it to a freshly formatted SD card, put it into the servo, and then reboot. So here's the file right here. We'll download this file, and we're gonna save it directly into the root of the thumb drive. We'll then come into my computer and eject the thumb drive. So then we pull it out of the computer. Come over to our servo, find an open USB port, and then plug it in. Nice and simple so far. Then we're going to come over to the servo display, go to menu, settings, general, reboot, and this will reboot the servo and do a blind installation of that setup helper. And then we come back and look at the setup helper project again, and it says if you're running Venus OS 2.9 and beyond, you should find the package manager at the bottom of the settings. You should remove the media, which means the thumb drive at this point. Mechanisms are in place to prevent reinstallation, but removal is still a good idea. And then once you pull that drive out, then it wants you to reboot the servo a second time. And we can see our servo came back up so now we will remove the thumb drive. Oh, and there is a, a proper eject uh, steps. So that's good to know. So don't do what I did. You have to actually eject the thumb drive. And they want us to come back in here, go to settings, general, and reboot one more time without having that thumb drive installed. So now let's go to settings. But down at the very bottom, package manager, and we look here again, it says once setup helper is installed, you can add GUI mods by placing the archive from its GitHub repo on a USB stick or SD card and inserting it into the Serbo GX. 
Okay, so you have to do basically the same thing. So you it looks like you still manually manage packages. So to get the packages, you have to get them off of the repository. So we'll put our thumb drive back in. We'll delete our files. Download the latest package to our thumb drive. Once Setup Helper is installed, Package Manager will detect the archive and transfer the package to the local storage. It will then appear in the active packages list. And there we go, GUI mods. So I believe here under Package Manager is where we can eject the USB. There we go. And remove it. No error this time, so that's good to know. So the final step to install, go to our active packages list. So we've got right here, this is the version on GitHub. This is the version saved to the servo, but nothing's installed yet. So we tap that. And we can install. Install GUI mods. Proceed. You can see that it's installing it. And it requires a restart. We'll restart now. So one of the big things that this modification does is it moves the settings options to the very top, settings and notifications. Because you're already coming off of a page that displayed all your information for your different devices, so you don't need to see that at the very top. Oh, you can change to dark mode. Let's go back to the menu, or excuse me, the page. Tap the center title. Tap the tile center for details at any time. So now, we have a whole lot more information showing up on our display versus the limited information that we had before. We can always go back and switch back to what we had. So tap the center, and now we can see state of charge. We can see a whole lot more information on here than we could before. Here's my individual devices for solar. And AC loads, what do we see here? Power, voltage, and current, so very nice. So taking a look at a few other additions using this GUI mods change, if we go into settings, display and language. So we've got a lot of different additions here. We can see we already have the dark mode here. Show boat and motorhome. I'll turn these on so you can see what they look like. Show the tanks. And then in GUI mods, we've got even more options that we can control for relays for our boat and motorhome are enhanced. So this flow overview this is where we could reset it back to our stock. We can set it to specifically DC coupled, AC coupled displays. A lot of different options that you can control how your display is gonna look. If we come back to the pages view, we've got our standard additional tiles here with different changes. We can scroll to the side. We've got relay controls. We've got our typical hub information. We can see generator start stop information now. And in fact, my system just switched back. This is your RV display. I don't even know what that one is. Oh, this is your tank display. Okay. Since I don't have any, any tank sensor set up, it's not gonna show me anything. And then back to the main display. So it really, allows you to customize this an awful lot more than even just adding the details on here. Well, I hope this has been helpful for you guys. I know for me, it really gives me a lot more information right at my fingertips because I've got a display up in the dining room. I've got my phone. I've got the, the display right here. And there were just certain things that 
I didn't really get to see what was going on. But now I can see, you know, the temperature sensor along the bottom. I can see the breakdown of the individual phases and the current coming between the two phases. I can see a breakdown of each of my solar trackers. And at a quick tap, I can see even more. So again, I wanna thank Kevin and those that have worked on the GUI mods and the setup helper modifications for the servo. And there's actually entire groups and forums dedicated just to the modifications that can be done using the Venus OS. So I look forward to seeing what other tweaks and changes we can make down the road. With that, I'm gonna let y'all go. Y'all stay safe, stay cool, and we'll catch up with you later.